Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's your boy DC, got another unboxing video for you. You know how I do it. Go ahead and get into it. It's a pre-order from, you know, your boys over at Ringside Collectibles. I stay on top of them, getting my pre-orders. Ain't be messing around. The stores have been getting some stuff in. They actually got some stuff in recently. I was surprised that they was gonna get in shortly after um, my pre-order uh, had came. Maybe about a week or two after. I was like, oh, okay, Target. I see how y'all doing there over there. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Move this box on over to the side. First of all, I'm gonna let you see this shirt. It was uh, when I went to uh, AW Double or Nothing, 20, uh, what, 2022 this year. And uh, it's an exclusive shirt. A Las Vegas Fight, Fight Shop. Las Vegas Fight Shop over in Vegas. Check them out. Pretty cool store. I got a bunch of merch as well besides this one. But I got this one. Um, included a meet and greet with um, the Lucha Bros, of course. I met um, Ray Phoenix out in you know Sacramento, California. I miss seeing uh, Penta, but I got a two for one. Got them both in the Vegas uh, fight shop and uh, got Penta to sign the belt that Ray already signed. So pretty nice shirt. It was exclusive to those who made it. They did do, however, two days later where they got some more shirts in. I, I don't know if they ran out of shirts or they just, whatever it was, you didn't get to meet uh, the Lucha Bros, but at least you were able to get that shirt. So I took a couple buddies back so they can get that shirt. Let's go ahead and get into this box real quick. A little side bar over there. We got about three figures in here. So let's see, we'll start off with, uh, let's see. From the Blood and Guts, AW Dynamite on 5-5-2021. Uh, this is um, part of the Unrivaled Series 10 collection. Wasn't sure if I was gonna get it at first, but I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get it, because they got the group from when they wore this outfit with the black inmate suit. Uh, so, you know, even though I had a Jake Hager, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and get it. And it actually pretty, looks pretty good. I'm glad I got this figure. But anyways, an unrivaled collection. Jake Hager is number 82. So there you go, from Blood and Guts. And I'll have the Y2J, Chris Jericho. Lionheart. Already. So this Jake Hager looks pretty good. It might even look better than the first one. Of course, it's all, they're always improving. So he comes with another head and uh, some fighting hands. And there you go. That figure looks good. Happy I got it. I don't know what, what the delay was because it would have come in the other pre-order box, but that's all right. Spread it out a little bit. Have some fun. Y'all having fun? I'm having fun. I love figures. I'm a, you know, a kid grew up on the LJNs in the 80s. So, um, the, uh, what is it? Uh, Remco AW figures. Man, that was a nice, that was a nice little set. The figures were cool, but the ring was fire. I may still have it. I cannot remember. But anyways, let's keep on moving. And then, uh, I don't know why I was delayed on getting this one. It was his first time in the lineup, so I should have got it. And he's uh, number 84 in the Unrivaled Collection. It's your boy Taz, part of the announced crew, uh, Team Taz. So in this one, they didn't really set him up for like the announced crew set, like with Tony Schiavone and uh, Jim Ross, who didn't come with a chair. But this is probably more of his Team Taz um, deal since he doesn't have the chair and he's not an exclusive. But that's Taz. Looks pretty good. He does have a microphone, of course. Another head. And uh, yeah, it looks good. I think it's pretty accurate of Taz. Now, some figures don't be as accurate. There's some small little minor details they mess up on. But this one, I like. It's good. It's good. Can't complain about that. Team Taz. Team Taz. I don't know what they was thinking with the little breakup. Uh, Starks and Hobbs. Man, they should have stayed together as a tag team. They actually should have won those belts, but we'll go ahead and move on from that. And last but not least, we have the, I don't know what happened here, but it is the CM Punk Best in the World Ice Cream Bar figure, I guess you can call it. It's the AEW Rampage First Dance. It says 820 2021 Chicago, Illinois. Place sold out, which is cool. With the thought that he was coming. Not that it was official. But uh, this is a pretty cool figure. 
and um, it says eight pieces. I'm not sure what the eight pieces are. I can't see them right now. Some stuff on the side, I guess, probably up here and down here. But uh, it's made to look like the ice cream bar. Let me show you the back first of all. So you can see that. And this is part of the Unrivaled collection. It says it on the front, so. Not a series, but the Unrivaled collection. And um, there you have it, up close. Got his gear on. As you can see, that looks like an ice cream bar. And in his hand is an ice cream bar. So that's pretty cool. This one probably won't get opened. Um, I might just to see what the other accessories are, but I can probably look it up online. So there's really no need to, but this one I'll just keep in the package. Cause I already have a CM Punk uh, opened anyways, his first figure in whatever set he was in. But that's it. Go ahead and get out of here for now. So we got a couple more in the uh, series 10 Unrivaled collection. This is part of the Unrivaled collection. Of course, it's a ringside exclusive. First dance, your boy DC, I'm out.